Kyle, you're out here showing some technique at Jordan's. What's going on, man? I haven't heard from you in a while. Not much. Um, put, put the weights down in the wrestling shoes and just been studying a lot um, in med school now. Um, it's, uh, it's almost like I'm in wrestling camp for the first time again, getting my butt kicked. Um, but, you know, just studying my butt off and helping jo Coach Jordan out whenever I can because uh, I like to stay in wrestling and show technique and and uh, talk trash to the younger wrestlers and, and such. So, <laughs> All right, you think you still got it, man? I was watching your technique today, and it still looks pretty clean, still looks pretty pretty tight like you can go. Can you still roll with these young guys? Um, Maybe for about 30 seconds or a minute, then I might get tired, then I might uh, go to old old coach wrestling where I give them bruises on their uh, on their wrist by you know, squeezing tight and, and holding position, things like that. But um, no, I, th I think if I, if I you know, drilled and got back into it, I'd be fine, but I could just... Uh, this year with studying and stuff, I had to uh, stop working out just a little bit to kind of catch up on the academics a little bit, so a little out of shape right now. Okay, where are you going to med school at right now? Uh, Wright State uh, University's uh, Boonshoff School of Medicine. Okay, and you actually, directly after Illinois, you went and you coached on staff at West Virginia. Yeah, yeah, it was a really good opportunity for me. Um, I actually didn't think about coaching. I, I thought, hey, I'm going to go home, work in a hospital, get some experience. I needed a couple more classes, and I needed to uh, you know, take the MCAT all that good stuff. Uh, Coach Turnbull up at West Virginia called me. Um, great opportunity. I got to take a few classes I needed. Uh, got to coach full time. Uh, uh, got to show Greg Jones that my double leg was faster than his. I'll probably get a phone call. Say, <laughs> that, that's the fastest big man I've ever seen in my life. But um, yeah, it's it a cool opportunity. I got to meet some great people, great university and things like that. So, so he kind of stole you away from med school early? No, not med school. I wasn't in yet. I hadn't applied or anything. I mean, that was my goal. Um, but I had to get a few more courses in. I had to take the the big MCAT test to um, uh, to to score well enough to be able to apply for med school. So, do, do you think? Uh, did you like college coaching? Can you see yourself back in coaching, or is it strictly going to be a professional career after this? Um, I'll probably stick with a professional career unless I'm terrible in medicine <laughs> and I don't do a good job. But um, that's that's not the plan so far. But um. Uh, it would be awesome. I, I love doing it. Um, sometimes I'm like, oh, hey, that was a good time, and I love wrestling. And I'm always ch checking your website. I, I told you earlier, I probably uh, it probably hurts my academics a little bit because I uh, sometimes I, uh, if I if I don't like what I'm studying, I'll check flow wrestling a little bit. But um, no, I uh, that's that's been my goal for a while, and um, it's uh, I love wrestling, and it always you know be in my heart, and I always. Uh, I try to keep in touch with it and watch NCAAs and, and help out with technique and maybe try to learn some new things if I can. But uh, my goal now is to uh, to try to take that focus and determination that I've learned through wrestling and, and try to apply it to uh, to my uh, future career in medicine. So, All right, if there's one thing about Kyle that people don't know, what, what would it be? Well, they figured out I have a voice of a second grader probably. <laughs> which the, the campers make fun of me about that a little bit. But um, um, I don't know. A lot of people... Uh, think I, I'm a lot meaner than I am, and I don't know how they could think a little 125 pounder is mean, but uh, I, maybe I, I look mean by the faces I have on me, and I'm, I'm intense a lot, but uh, normally I'm, I'm pretty laid back. I um, like to get along with people. I don't know. I'm not Besi sure. Besides your own technique, who's your favorite technique to watch on flow wrestling? Top technique. On flow wrestling? Yeah. Um, my favorite, favorite comedian on flow wrestling would be Jake the Snake Percival. <laughs> uh, he's awesome. And, and also... You know, I like to wrestle my feet. I'm not gonna lie. Top is not probably my best position. I, I love his top technique. It's it's impressive. Um, I mean, there, there's tons of great technicians. I mean, Askren. I mean, st the stuff he does is just crazy and uh, pretty inventive. And, and I, you know, can't get away with a lot of that stuff. But that's pretty awesome. And you know, everyone on floor wrestling is pretty cool to watch. I mean, whether it's a grade school coach to some other guys, I'll turn it on and check out and see what see what I like to see how they're thinking. Like, what what are they thinking when they're doing these moves? It's pretty cool. Are you going to go watch your technique? I want, actually, I'm going to watch to see how stupid I look on there because, uh, yeah, it was, it was a little, little different. I mean, Coach Jordan didn't let me show doubles and singles like I like to do today. So I did, did some things I, uh, I, I don't really do too often when I'm wrestling, but I have hit a lot of those moves. But um, it'll be interesting. I can't. It'll be fun to see. Hey, thanks for sitting down and talking to me, man. I know you no got to get home. you got, you got to go home and catch dinner. And... Yep. Catch, I, I need dinner. I'm starving right now, so I can't wait. All right, hey, thanks for the time. No, I appreciate it. Thank you very much.